Hello and welcome to Soda Tasting, an online show dedicated to soda reviews and appreciation. I'm Patrick O'Keefe. On today's episode, I'm going to be reviewing Sioux City Birch Beer from White Rock Products. Now, Birch Beer is a flavor that is traditionally made from tree bark extracts, and this is Sioux City's take on it. And, like, here's a, here's a little, sure what the bottle looks like there. Um, now, if you're not familiar with Sioux City, basically it's, it's a vanity brand that is, uh, has an Old West theme. Um, open up an ice cold bottle of Sioux City and suddenly the saloon doors swing open and you've returned to the Old West. Back to the days of the Pony Express, Wide Earp, Calamity Jane, and the bandits and gunslingers like Billy the Kid and Jesse James. They make a, a number of flavors in that vein like sarsaparilla, diet sarsaparilla, root beer, cream soda, orange cream, birch beer, berry, berry, and prickly pear. SiouxCityBeverages.com. Search for Sioux City Root Beers on Facebook. Nutritional facts wise, we have 180 calories, 45 milligrams of sodium, 45 grams of total carbohydrates, 43 of which are sugar. Ingredients are purified, carbonated water, pure cane sugar, artificial flavors, caramel color, citric acid, sodium benzoate as a preservative, and artificial color red number 40, White Rock Products, Whitestone, New York. And you can see already it's kind of a, uh, it's got like a, kind of a red, kind of a deep red tinge to it. I was able to find this at um, a Ingalls grocery store in Greenville, South Carolina. It's caffeine free and as you may have noted it is sweetened with cane sugar. So, gosh, it's like a licorice-like smell. You get a little root beer, licorice-y, uh, like, a, like a really heavy licorice root beer, if you will. That's what I get from it anyway, really the licorice more than anything else. I probably shouldn't mention the root beer, though there are some similarities. Like the smell which suggests, I get kind of a licorice flavor there, and I mean the black licorice, not red licorice, not Twizzlers. Um, I mean that kind of black licorice. And when I say that, I don't mean to suggest it isn't sweet as well. It is. It's quite sweet. Some would say perhaps a little too sweet. But you know, it's also uh, tingly on, on the tongue. It's 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 it's, it's kind of tingly. It's hard to explain if you haven't had it before. But that's what I get from it. You know, that kind of black licorice, and then like a like a tingling sensation. Um, that is fairly unique. I'm not a huge birch beer fan, but as far as birch beers go, this is a pretty good flavor, pretty smooth. Some of the, uh, I know, I don't know, as I drank it, I kind of tired of the sweetness of it, honestly. And that's not to take away from the flavor. Like I said, a pretty good flavor. And if you're a fan of birch beers, then this is something definitely to check out. Me personally, I want to put it at three out of five. Are you a fan of birch beers? Let me know in the comments on YouTube or on sodatasting.com. I'd love to hear what your favorite variety is. If you'd like to subscribe to Soda Tasting, there's more options than just YouTube. We also have profiles on various social networks, as well as options such as email and RSS. Please visit the website at sodatasting.com for links to all those options. Thank you for watching, and as always, everything in moderation.